What if your body stopped responding to its insulin, the hormone that keeps your blood sugar in check? What if this silent shift happened so gradually that you didn't notice it? Until years later, when serious complications start showing up in every part of your body. This is the reality of type 2 diabetes, a chronic condition that now affects hundreds of millions of people worldwide. What makes type 2 diabetes particularly dangerous is its subtle onset. Many people live with the condition for years without realizing it, as early symptoms are often mild or mistaken for signs of aging, stress or an unhealthy lifestyle. Meanwhile, high blood sugar quietly affects the nerves, blood vessels, kidneys, eyes and heart, setting the stage for complications. In the sections that follow, we will explore what type 2 diabetes is, how it develops, who is most at risk, what symptoms to watch for, and how it is diagnosed and treated. We will also look at long-term management strategies, including lifestyle modification, medication options, and the importance of regular medical monitoring. Type 2 diabetes is a disorder that affects the control and utilization of sugar in the body. It is a chronic and progressive disease characterized by elevated blood sugar levels, which can have harmful effects throughout the body and lead to various symptoms and complications. For instance, it can damage nerves, eyes and kidneys. It also accelerates atherosclerosis causing the narrowing of the blood vessels, including one supplying blood to the brain and heart. Nerve damage combined with blood vessel narrowing in the legs can result in diabetic foot, which may necessitate amputation in severe cases. Elevated blood sugar levels in case of type 2 diabetes are caused by two interconnected problems. In the beginning, the body cells become resistant to the effects of insulin, and later, the pancreas gradually loses its ability to produce enough insulin to compensate. The result is a persistent rise in blood sugar. Obesity, which affects about 80% of people with type 2 diabetes, significantly increases insulin resistance and plays a major role in the development of the disease. Genetics also play a key role. Having a close relative with diabetes significantly increases your risk. Typically, individuals with this type of diabetes are obese over the age of 30 and usually do not require insulin therapy initially, except in extreme cases. Early symptoms associated with high blood sugar include excessive thirst leading to increased water intake and frequent urination, increased hunger, and weight loss. Other common symptoms include fatigue, a general feeling of weakness, blurred vision, and frequent superficial infection, such as vaginitis or fungal skin infections. Symptoms may not always be obvious, and the disease is often diagnosed only when complications arise, which can take approximately 10 years. The complications of diabetes can be severe and include following vision loss, kidney dysfunction that may require dialysis, and nerve damage that causes symptoms such as tingling, burning, and pain, typically in the feet. Additionally, Diabetic foot issues can lead to open wounds and, in some cases, even amputation. Narrowing of the heart's blood vessels can result in angina pectoris, a heart attack, or heart failure. Furthermore, narrowing of the blood vessels in the head and neck can lead to a stroke. Type 2 diabetes is number one cause of blindness kidney failure, and lower limb amputation in developed countries. Type 2 diabetes is managed by an endocrinologist. The doctor will first gather detailed information about patient's lifestyle 
existing medical conditions, medications, and family history of diabetes. They will conduct basic lab tests, which may include blood counts, inflammation markers, lipid levels, and blood sugar measurements. It is essential for patients to come prepared with the names and doses of their medications, ideally written down or brought in their original containers. The diagnosis of diabetes is confirmed through blood sugar measurements, which can be taken while fasting, randomly, or through the glycated hemoglobin, or HbA1c test, which provides information about average blood sugar levels over the past three months. Fasting blood sugar measurements should be taken in the morning after an eight-hour fast. Only water is permitted. A diagnosis is made if the fasting blood sugar is 7 millimole per liter or higher. If the random measurement is 11.1 millimoles per liter or higher, or if the HbA1c value is 6.5% or higher. After the diagnosis, the patient is typically screened for complications, which may include tests for kidney function, an eye examination, and assessments of nerve and blood vessel function in the legs. The primary goal of treatment is to regulate blood sugar levels, prevent or delay complications, and allow patients to lead a normal life. Since most are obese, the first step is to adjust their diet to reduce sugar intake and achieve a healthy body weight. Moderate physical activity, such as walking or cycling for 30 minutes a day, at least 5 days a week, is also recommended. To minimize the risk of complications, blood pressure and the lipid levels are closely monitored. If the patient smokes, quitting is strongly advised. In some cases, these lifestyle changes can be sufficient to normalize blood sugar levels without the need for medication. If these measures do not yield the desired results, the next step is to consider medication. For some, a single drug in a tablet form may suffice, while others might require a combination of multiple medications. There are numerous drugs available for diabetes treatment, and not all will have the same effect on every patient. Additionally, these drugs may cause side effects. Due to these factors, Finding a suitable combination may take some time. In some cases, insulin therapy may be necessary, either on its own or in conjunction with oral medications. Initially, one dose of long-acting insulin taken daily, either in the morning or at bedtime, may be sufficient. As the disease progresses, a combination of fast-acting insulin administered before meals and the long-acting insulin taken at bedtime may become necessary. Everyone diagnosed with diabetes is trained to independently monitor their blood sugar levels using testing strips. This simple procedure provides a quick and reliable readings. If blood sugar is controlled through diet and oral medication, measuring levels occasionally before breakfast may be sufficient. However, if long-acting insulin is used, it is recommended to check blood sugar daily before breakfast. And in instances where rapid-acting insulin is needed throughout the day, multiple checks may be required. Keeping a blood sugar log or using a mobile app can help patients and doctors see trends over time and make better treatment decisions. Patients are scheduled for regular checkups and participate in various educational programs that cover topics such as nutrition, physical activity planning, blood sugar self-monitoring, and proper food care. The physician coordinates long-term treatment, evaluates blood sugar control through patient self-measurements, and assesses the three-month average blood sugar, or HbA1c, to make any necessary adjustments to therapy. Regular examinations are scheduled to detect potential complications of diabetes early on. For example, 
patients should see an ophthalmologist or eye doctor at least once a year. Undergo laboratory tests annually to monitor kidney function and have their feet examined one or two times per year. Additionally, blood pressure and lipid levels are routinely monitored. Type 2 diabetes may be a lifelong condition, but with the right care, it doesn't have to control your life. By understanding how diabetes works, recognizing the early signs, and making smart choices about food, activity, and medication, you can protect your heart, your nerves, your vision, and your future. Regular checkups, blood sugar monitoring, and working closely with your healthcare team are key. But the most powerful tool is you, your commitment to small, steady changes that make a big difference over time. Because when it comes to diabetes, knowledge isn't just power. It's prevention, protection, and peace of mind. And remember, if you notice symptoms like increased thirst, frank fat urination, or unusual fatigue, especially if you are over 30 or overweight, it is worth talking to your doctor and getting tested. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, consider subscribing for more educational content. Have a great day.